First question is from Mrs. Lift to Hunt. Why do I struggle to put weight on my squat? I am a long, lanky build and have tried different stances and cannot break 300. That's a that's a really good question. There's a lot of reasons why it's not fair. Yeah. Us tall people have a disadvantage. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's true. It's true. There, there's a lot Better of work harder potential reasons why your weight might not not be going up. So I'm going to talk about the most common ones. One of them is is your workout programming might need to change. You might be doing the same stuff over and over again. It's not working. Uh, maybe you're doing too much or too little. Maybe you're stuck in a rep range. So move things around a little bit. The second uh, most common reason is, believe it or not, lack of stability and mobility. That will oftentimes prevent you, especially if you're lifting decent weight, you're squatting 300 pounds. Mm -hmm. So I know that you at least know something about squatting. I mean, that's not that's not nothing. 300 pound squat is pretty significant. So that tells me you know how to squat. You've been pushing yourself. What might be preventing you from moving up is that your body doesn't, your body senses instability. It senses uh, lack of mobility, and it just won't allow you to get stronger. I mean, I, I'll I'll, t I'll give you uh, I'll mm -hmm. tell you a story. I had a client once that hired me, who was experienced. The dude was pretty built. Uh, we would have conversations at the gym. I must have impressed him because he decided to hire me. And I was at the time I was a younger trainer. I remember thinking like, "Well, this big dude is going to hire me. That's pretty cool." And his main goal was to get his bench press higher. Now, his bench press was, I don't remember what number it was stuck at, but it was significant. It was like 350 or 360 pounds, something like that. And so I remember talking with uh, one of my other trainers who was really experienced, and, he, and I said, what should I do? And we talked about programming, and he said, try working on his shoulder stability. So oftentimes, that's the problem. So he came and saw me, and I did very basic uh, shoulder mobility movements, rotator cuff exercises and shoulder mobility stuff. And within a couple weeks, he added – like five or 10 pounds to his bench press that he'd been stuck at forever. Mm -hmm. And it was all because his body was more stable, so he was able to exert more force. So if you're not doing regular mobility work, um, that could make a huge difference. There, there is also the possibility nutritionally. So, um, and th this happens to me a lot when, um, you know, when, when you get back you, and when you get into training and if you're, di especially if you're dieting uh, to lean out, or lose body fat, and then you're also wanting to increase your squat strength. That's hard to do. You know, at, at one point, your body adapts and gets as strong as it's going to get for the amount of muscle that you have on your body. You've you've got to a point where you're getting you're generating as much output as you can for that, and you literally need to build more muscle to get stronger. And if you're not feeding the body enough nutrients to build more muscle, it's really tough. And that's not to say that somebody can't be in a calorie deficit or following ma maintenance calories and see strength gains. And I would always go to my programming first, but if you've done a really good job, let's say you like you work and cycle through the maps programming, which we know what that looks like. And you're still struggling with putting on uh, weight on the bar for your squat. The other thing I'd ask you is to uh, look towards your nutrition and have you gone on like a mini bulk and actually tried to increase calories. Uh, and this is very common for a lot of my female clients, you know, it's, it's, uh, it was always really difficult for me to get a client to, that, that was female to, Hey, let's, let's increase calories and put some weight on, you know, most of them come to me and be like, Adam, I want to lean out, yeah, I want to lose true. weight. And they, they're always eating around, you know, 1500 calories. And I'm like, Hey, let's, let's boost you up to 2000 and really push the strength component. Um, so I would actually look there too. So if you haven't looked at the programming, I'd look there first, then the next place I would look is actually my nutrition and and actually try putting yourself on like a two-week calorie surplus and watch what happens to yeah. your squat. Now, Justin, you have a really good squat. Are there Thanks. complementary exercises that you that you have found that contribute to your squat more, more than nutrition, others? nutrition, like cheese. Yeah. <laughs> yeah um, I think, too, for me, it's changing up the protocol and changing up the acute variables. Um, so a, a lot of times, if I'm not as connected – in my squat, I'll do pause squats. Uh, if, if, if the problem for me is digging myself out of the hole. So if I'm at the bottom part of my squat and I'm having a hard time digging my way back up, uh, that's going to be a focus of mine. And so uh, sometimes I break it up uh, almost like a power lifter where I'm looking at, uh, you know, the different parts of the lift and where I can improve uh, those specific parts of the lift. Um, so that would be pause squats would be one of them for me, uh, but also just taking the time to then change it up and, and focus on unilateral training. Uh, mm, that's, that's something right. that I, I tend to do when I have when I'm in a rut. 
uh, in terms of like progressing on my squat, I, I take that as an opportunity to then do what you mentioned in terms of mobility wise, but also apply exercises in that directions where I'm in a split stance. I'm, you know, doing lunges. I'm doing Bulgarian split squats. I'm doing unilateral type exercises, uh, to then really regain that, that, that stability, uh, you know, uh, to, to then go up and apply to, to my back squats. 